let's talk about external graphics cards. Specifically, let's talk about the Razer Core. Now straight away, I want to say that the technology of external graphics cards, all that that makes it possible, is awesome. And external graphics cards are going to be a very enticing option for a lot of people. It is a very cool piece of gear, or bit of kit for our friends across the pond. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Now let's get on. I wanted to discuss the rationale behind buying a laptop with a dedicated GPU versus buying a laptop or Ultrabook and an external GPU, an external Thunderbolt uh, Razer Core specifically. Mainly, let's look at budget and price. Now the Razer Core costs $500 just by itself, no GPU included. And for the GPU, let's use the GTX 960 and 960M, just for sake of argument. The GTX 960, at the time I'm making this video, cost around $200. So let's do some math. Right now, being that it's bleeding edge, the Razer Core is only compatible with the Razer Blade Stealth, which starts at $1,400 US dollars. Now, if you buy the Razer Core with the Razer Blade Stealth, they'll knock $100 off the core, making it $400. So that's $1,400 US dollars for the Razer Blade Stealth, $400 for the Razer Core, and then another $200 for the GTX 960. That's $2,000 plus tax. A $2,000 investment on something that still essentially you can't game on the go with. Now let's take a look at laptops with a GTX 960M already built in. There are options galore for under $1,000. That's less than half the price. Not only that, but the CPUs in these laptops, as opposed to Ultrabooks, are full quad-core hyper-threaded i7s. The Ultrabooks is just a dual-core hyper-threaded i7. The i7 in the Razer Blade Stealth is still just a dual-core hyper-threaded CPU. Which is great, but uh, having four more threads and two more physical cores is always better. More is better. Even if we were using a GTX 980 in this example, a GTX 980M in a laptop is still going to cost you under $2,000. Or more, of course. I know there are slight differences in specs between, say, a GTX 980 and a GTX 980M, or a GTX 960 and a GTX 960M, but is it $1,000 worth of a difference? So here's my glorious personal opinion on the matter. If I'm shopping for a laptop I can also game with, I want to be able to game anywhere not just at home, not just tethered to another device. Maybe I want to play AAA titles on a train or an airplane or on long breaks between classes. Maybe I want to edit videos in a hotel room. In any case, I want my wrecking ball CPU and my bulldozer GPU right there in my backpack, ready to rock. And all that can be had for half the budget. Now, of course, as time goes on, more and more laptop manufacturers are going to get on board with the Thunderbolt external GPU standard, meaning that even a cheap $300 laptop could benefit from an external GPU, which is awesome. But even then, the price of the external GPU case has to come way down. I mean, like, external hard drive case down. A $300 laptop plus a $500 enclosure plus another $200 for a GPU, you're still looking at a thousand bucks. Which just boomerangs back to my point. If you're spending a thousand dollars, you might as well have a laptop with a built-in GPU and that quad-core i7. I want to throw my cake in my backpack and eat it too. Mmm, backpack cake. I've actually touched on some of this argument in my previous video, which you can see over here. Well, that's it, guys. If you have anything to add or any counterpoints or anything like that, bring it up in the comments below and let's discuss. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you friggin' loved it, hit the subscribe button. Have an awesome day, everybody.